Yo! And welcome to episode 25, maybe? Uh, of Let's Play Your Renegade X Map. Might be 26, I can't remember. Uh, but today, we are going to be doing something a bit strange and unrelated to this map, but a bit fun. Uh, well, I say unrelated, uh, it may not go in because of performance issues. <laughs> Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm, I'm getting a bit of a cold at the moment, so that's why I sound a bit funky. So, I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet, I'm just going to do it, then I'm going to show you what it does. Yeah? So, what we want to do is, first of all, I want to convert this to a dominant directional movable. That kind of gives a clue of what I'm about to do. Uh, and then I want to go to movement and rotation rate. Right? And I want to put this here to rot Ooh, pardon me. rotating. And then I want to start messing with some of this funky stuff. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to over exaggerate the stuff first. So, yeah, done that. Uh, I also wish to. Uh, I want to make a copy of this first, uh, then I want to disable it. Oops, I want to put that one down. Just in case I bugger this up. So, what I've just done, right, is this. It's not that actually, because I just messed that up. Well, uh, put that to a minus. Oh look, dynamic sun. As I said, this is over exaggerated. And it sets and and rises in the same place. <laughs> but as I said, it's over exaggerated at the moment. Uh, whoops! Don't lock in location. again <clears throat> basically what this does is tur turns the the light into a, a rotating object uh, the light rotates but when it rotates uh, it also moves the light with it uh, there's a few ways I can do it <coughs> and uh, yeah can I get up here? Probably a good thing. Uh, this is going to be really slow because I uh, I put it to a really bizarre number. But yeah, there we go. It's that slow, you're not ever going to notice it happening. And probably I'll start it off around there and uh, whatnot. So you can't even notice it moving, which is pretty cool. It's probably going to take a really long time for it to get over there, which I'm not wor really worried about. Uh, I actually do want it to take a bit of time. 
Wow, I didn't realise how high these cliffs were. I'm going to have to knock some of these down a little bit, I think. Yeah, but I'm going to keep that in for now. I'll put it in the comments, see if you actually want to keep it in. And we do some tests later on, and uh, we'll see what the frame rates are like. Uh, I can't really tell you what the frame rates are like from the editor, because the editor uh, kind of doesn't show everything. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disable this for now and re-enable this other one and take off this rotation bollocks. So I actually do have uh, a nice light to work with. Selected. Yep. <laughs> Why is all this on? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So, yeah. It's uh, still a bit high, but I can fiddle with so I'm actually hoping to put a bit of a hill in by here um, other things we can do uh, we can actually add a uh, a light function so if I come down to uh, light command light function or just function click this and put light function in uh, we can put uh, like clouds and stuff in uh, damn you so a cloud, uh, just find a basic cloud thing, and we'll just put that in there. Uh, that should just work. But there's no guarantee it will. Because light functions just sometimes just don't work for whatever reason. I think it is working now. Ever so slightly. It's hard to see. Uh, disable brightness. No, let's just boost this up. Oh, it might be because that one's a movable. Uh, let's, uh, Select, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, convert light to a dynamic, uh, just dynamic light. What's this? I'm going to set to 2.5. I said lighting uh these uh, sh uh lighting functions don't always work for some reason have a look at like uh, gold rush not gold rush uh, lakeside and that to see how they work but as I said they don't like to work all that much well not for me anyway <laughs> Anyway, uh, I might have to build lights. I 
I shouldn't have to, but I'm just going to build lights quickly and I will be right back. Yo, so I built lights and it doesn't seem to have worked. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Uh, but, yeah. The hell is that over there? Whoops. Oh, it's the landscape. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why we're not getting any uh, shadows on anything. It's a bit weird. It's this one. No, it's this one. Yeah. It might be because of my shadows. Ah, anyway, we'll figure it out in another one. Uh, so what else can we do? Uh, well, there is, there is a few things I want to do actually. Uh, I'm going to change this this water because I really don't like this water anymore. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save down, file, save current level. Here is a water that I really, really like and uh, it's in file open, uh, test map, which everyone has a test map. And this basically was our, our, our map for testing certain things. Uh, which you can see, but this water is actually really cool. It has a uh, an effect on top, so something like that. I just want to see if it is an effect, or he's got a second. Must have a second layer underneath it. Oops. Unless it's that. No, he's definitely got a second layer. So I'm actually just going to copy this, and I want to go back to my normal map, uh, which will be this one. Don't worry about any of the crap. I'm just I've been testing stuff out for other people and whatnot. So I just want to paste that in, and whoops. find out where this is so I'll lock that bring this in uh, go to movement lock that put, put this location to that location just drop it down a little bit copy paste copy paste and copy paste Should be on exactly the same plane as this. But we're missing the texture. Yep, so that's cool. Uh, let's go find this texture. Let's go back here. Uh, save. It's quite handy being able to go to other levels and f fix stuff. So, hello. I shall be with you in a couple of minutes, mate. If 
for uh, stack mesh. Stack mesh want rendering, mate. That's the one. And I want to go back to my map file. Open my, map, my other map. And find this. F4. Plug that. Plug that in there. Underwater. Go away. I'm recording. Oh. I'll be back in a minute. This guy never stops. <laughs> be back in a minute. Right, so, so yeah, sorry about that. Uh, just got an EU server and uh, wants me to set up from. So yeah, we got that. Now we have a funky. What's going on under the water? Look, it's pretty cool. Uh, other things, uh, not much else. Uh, I do want to set up uh, this material. I'm going to do that in the next episode. Uh, I just, I just fancied something a bit playful today. The sun and uh, whatnot, uh, and the water underneath. Just don't actually make a big difference, but. I like, I like to play every now and again and just make things funky. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to call it now because i got other things to do, unfortunately. Uh, in the next episode I will be I will be making a, a generic rock material uh, where I can swap and change uh, another material onto it as an instance. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be doing that. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing, I will be explaining in the next one. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, give us a comment about uh, what you think about the um, the dynamic sun. Uh, I'd even add a dynamic moon as well, just in case it's a marathon server, and I'll get rotations, and I'll f try and figure out a uh, how much time it takes to get to one end to the other. Uh, which is going to be quite hard to do and then we turn off the light or individual lights at individual times but yeah thanks for watching see you in the next one ta -da.